this is tarot things if you don't know now you know this is a reading for my aries i've been feeling or a reading for my aries or whoever feels like they resonate with this message okay i feel like i've been we've been because i'm tapped into this energy right now i feel like we've been getting a little discouraged when it comes to success and wealth and abundance okay we feel like everything is just really far-fetched when it when it comes to getting out of an apartment to that house we always dreamed of if, if it's if it's you getting out of your parents house um you getting a nice car it's like whatever situation you're in and you want better everything just feels so far-fetched right and you know they say trust the process trust the process but right now you feel like fuck the process i'm ready to start scamming and, and lying and cheating okay like i'm ready to get fast money fuck this slow money <clears throat> nah let me be the one to tell you nah and somebody hits you on cash at me like you trying to make some money don't don't feed in no nah. We're going to do it the slow way, okay? You have to trust the process. We have to. I know we motherfucking tired, but we have to trust the process. It will happen to us. You have to believe it. All you need is a mustard seed of faith. That's all you need, okay? Trust that motherfucking process. We're going to get it out the hood. You just feel like success and the wealth and is happening to y'all. Cool. But as for me, this shit is lagging and dragging. No, we just have to trust it, okay? If you have nobody in your life to tell you that, just listen to this video. Well, yeah. My thing is I know you can hear when I'm in when I'm making a video you don't think to go. Yes, yeah, she's making a video. Don't air hustle like you. Mm, I don't know. What's wrong? Nothing. You alright? Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? So, yeah, we're going to just keep our head high and our head down and just focus. And work, 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 work. Work, 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 And the second you just get lost and caught up and work, 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 it's going to be like, ding-ding. It's just going to fall into your lap. Okay. So, my Aries. My Aries, my Aries. You're on the right path. Just know that. Anyway, I'm going to pull some cards for you. We're going to tap into the energy and see, you know, what it's looking like. Let's get it. Let's go. Spirit guys, what do you have for my Aries? What's the energy looking like? What did I motherfucking tell you? Devil. That's devil energy. That's that devil energy that's just like... The devil sitting over there like... Sitting on your shoulder like, you worked 80 hours this week and ain't got a penny to show for it. You look stupid. You might as well have caught out all week. You might as well fake the Rona. And you're like, you ain't never lie. <laughs> ain't that some bullshit? Ain't that some bullshit? What I tell you, we is not going to let them get in our head. We are going to actually trust the process. You hear me? You hear me? We're going to trust the process. Tap in word. It's going to take us some time. Yeah. It's going to take us a little time. You know what? It's going to take you some time because you don't want no little blessing. You don't want to go from the apartment you're living in to the next little rinky dink apartment. You trying to go from the apartment to a motherfucking mansion type shit. Okay, you're trying to go from apartment to owning some land so you can have a farm and chickens and baby goats and all that. So, yeah, it's going to take a little longer than these motherfuckers. Come on, now. Spirit, what do you have for us? 
<sighs> Queen of Pentacles. Keep your energy strong, Miss Queen of Pentacles. Mm. 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 We are unbothered. We are unbothered. We are going to stay unbothered this year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, devil. We're going to sit you right next to the devil card because, listen, the devil can be in our ear all day once. We are unbothered. Yes, we are. Because we know our manifestations are going to come through. Seven of Swords, somebody's trying to take you out. Somebody's trying to motherfucking take you out. It could be in a workplace. It could be just somebody in your family, somebody in your friends group, just, just that jelly shit. Just somebody that wants your place. Just somebody that sees you working hard, working hard, and sees you like being so resilient, not letting nothing get to you or knock you off your feet, right? And they just wait and they just waiting to attack. They just waiting to to possibly say the wrong thing to try to fuck your head up or something or take your place at work or they waiting for you to fuck up so they can snitch on you and oh yeah so um i really didn't um do this at the, 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 the you like uh, i missed one goddamn thing and you ain't done shit for a whole month and you got the nerve to bring that to the boss's attention <clears throat> so just be on your p's and q's y'all because Devil energy is out on the table, and they are coming for you. They're getting in your head, and they're getting in your physical life, okay? So we shall remain with Queen and Pentacles energy, because that abundance and wealth is going to come right to us, period. Excuse me. Actually, I want to pull, I want to pull from this bit. <laughs> Spirit guys, what do you have for my Aries? What do you have for my Aries, Spirit guys? Insecurities. When it comes to that love life, you're trying to just mind your business right now. You're trying to mind your business when it comes to love and not pay attention. Like, you have your heart on guard and you just been throwing yourself into work because you don't even want to deal with another heartbreak with another mother. Because you just been working, 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 working. Yo, oh, uh, you trying to chew? Oh, I'm trying to take you out. You like, nope, I got to work. <laughs> That's me throwing my bag under my shoulder. I got to work. Straight to the car. Mm -mm, I ain't even got time to dabble in or get into whatever you're trying to get into. I gotta work. <laughs> no, man. I'm good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're isolating yourself from the communities. You're isolating yourself from from the fun. Because like uh, you want it so bad but at the same time. You got to give your mind a break. You have to give your mind a break. Yeah. It's going to eat you alive. That devil will get in your head. You have to go out and get some fun. Not just work, 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 sleep, 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 work, 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 sleep, sleep, sleep. At this point, you're just picking up shifts, picking up shifts, picking up shifts. When you can go out and have a laugh and that's medicine to the soul. Laugh a little bit. Damn, joy, uh, laugh a little. How are we going to get through this hard-ass life without a little bit of laughter? Without some true, genuine friends in your circle? You, you, like, it's not even relationships. Like, you're cutting yourself off from your friends, too. Like, just work, 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 your, your friends hit you. Yo, come to breakfast with us. Yo, come to, come out to the, yo, we about to just sit in the house and watch a movie. Yo, like, you want to come over to just get a meal? Like, yo, like, come over. To, and you like, mm, I gotta work. Mm, yeah, mm. If you don't put your Uggs and your jacket on and leave that house. Or leave that job. 
not permanently but you know what i mean <sighs> sometimes you have to reset shit like that will reset your mind reset your brain it's like all right who got a little break now i'm ready to go back to work now you, you feel me now you got some energy in you Okay, we got victim and trickery. This came out in the last reading. Victim and trickery. That goes hand in hand. Somebody is tricking your ass and playing the victim. Who can we be talking about besides a nigga? Who can we be talking about besides a nigga? Some of you are dealing with a motherfucker that likes to put you on a pedestal when he around you. But as soon as he leaves out your sight, the nigga putting every motherfucking bitch on a pedestal so it's giving like not loyal it's giving it's not what he says like what he says is not matching up to his actions okay then it is tricking you niggas is just straight up tricking you but it's cool because we just work we just go work 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 uh, it's like all right so now you want to work 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 when niggas start doing you dirty no no you fuck them go chill with your friends how about that Go chill with your friends. We got oh, confusion. I do not let these niggas confuse you. Believe them. Believe every motherfucking action that they are proving doing. Believe every motherfucking action. Oh, spirit nights. What do you have for us? Wait, 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 wait a minute. What else do you have for my Aries? Grief? Hmm, maybe a lot of you guys are throwing yourself into work because you are going through a loss and you just, you don't even want to vent, you don't want to let it out, like, you don't want to feel it because then it's going to be real. It's going to make it real if you actually cry about it. And blah, blah. So, you, so you're just keeping yourself busy, keeping yourself busy or you're isolating yourself because you don't want nobody to ask you, yo, how you doing? How you holding up? Like, blah, blah. So, of course, it's hard. It's hard losing somebody. And that's just the reality of it. Very cliche to say. It's hard losing somebody, but you got to feel it to get over it. Celebrate their life and times and memories you have with them. In the end, it'll bring you the joy. It will bring you gratitude for their whole existence and the time you have with them. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave it there. I'll catch y'all in the next reading. Peace.